let's do exercise number two in free cad software this is our drawing all dimensions are millimeter now you will see the base flange 88 by 90 millimeter the corner fillet 14 millimeter see and the thickness of this flange you will see in this section view this is section view of this hole center hole and this hole so that's why you are able to see this counter bore hole and the center hole now thickness 11 millimeter in section view then there is a hole counter bore hole but we will use pocket to cut this 14 diameter hole throughout hole then 32 diameter hole depth only 8 millimeter so let's do this now if you open free cat it will looks like this so simply choose here create new once you open new here you will see one window open unnamed so click this unnamed and here choose label now here you can define name exercise 02 fine there is a CAD option navigation way so I am going to choose CAD so if you keep mouse here you will see how to it will show you navigation style so remember this style pan for pan you can use middle mouse for rotate middle mouse and right key again middle mouse and left this is rotate for zoom middle mouse and select right mouse now before going to here just you will see here many tools there is one workbench you have to define workbench drop down this and here I am going to design a part so choose part design so now we are in part design now here see we are in task in model you will see all the features going to be list here so go to task and choose create body now it is asking you create a sketch now here you have to choose any one axis x y plane so i am going to choose here x y plane and select ok now we are in x y plane mode so let's start our drawing first i am going to choose here center rectangle move cursor over origin point and origin point become yellow so click left mouse and drag and place somewhere click right click and exit of the now here you will find we have to define dimension so just check this is the horizontal distance now horizontal distance 88 okay now again you have to choose here select this vertical now vertical 190 okay now see this line is green means this is fully constrained right click now here say close now these options are available you can perform with this so first I am going to add thickness so you have to choose pad for pad here click pad now see thickness going to add type you have to choose distance or any other options but we have a distance for this length 11 millimeter see this is increased now direction this is going in one direction so I am going to keep normal we don't have any other reference so keep normal if you select show direction it will show you direction here say ok now control key and select corner edges now I am selected these three edges now choose fillet here see this fillet now these three corners selected now here define 14 millimeter just click somewhere here but it's still one edge balance so first press press and hold middle mouse then you can press and hold right mouse and leave and you will select this corner say ok it still not happened so go to model right click edit fillet now here choose add now here select this corner now all the edges selected say ok look now from here in navigation panel choose isometric and again here choose fit to all fit and see now select this face go to task create a sketch now activate here drop down this center and rim point 
मूव कर्सर ओवर ओरिजिन पॉइंट एंड सी दिस इज बिकम येलो सो प्रेस लेफ्ट माउस एंड ड्रैग एंड प्रेस समवेयर हियर एंड आउट राइट क्लिक एंड एग्जिट ना अगेन वी हैव टू डिफाइन द डायमीटर फॉर दिस सो आई एम गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट दिस एरो एंड हियर वन ऑप्शन सी इफ ड्रॉप डाउन हियर वी हैव थ्री ऑप्शन सो कंस्ट्रेन डायमीटर ना सेलेक्ट दिस वन एंड दिस डायमीटर थर्टी सिक्स ओके नाउ दिस इज फुल्ली डिफाइंड कंस्ट्रेन क्लोज ना अगेन आई वॉन्ट टू एड पैड डायरेक्ट टाइप डायमेंशन ना फोर्टी टू माइनस इलेवन सी फोर्टी टू फ्रॉम बॉटम सो ऑलरेडी दिस इज इलेवन मिलीमीटर थिक स्केच वी विल कीप नॉर्मल बिकॉज दिस इज मूविंग इन अपर साइड से ओके नाउ देर इज अ होल सो फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट दिस फेस क्रिएट स्केच अगेन सेलेक्ट सेंटर Now draw one circle from this point. Just move your cursor and place somewhere here. Right click and exit from sketch. Sketch. And here choose this constraint diameter. And this is going to be fourteen. Okay. Now here, this is green means fully constraint. You don't need to define anything else. Close. And this time I am going to choose pocket. See here pocket, because I want to make a hole. Now. Type I am going to choose here through all. This is going to cut a through all hole. Okay. Now, now press and hold Shift key and left mouse, uh, right mouse, and drag your move your mouse, and you will see the component is going to move. Now, now select this face. Click Create Sketch. Now again select Circle. Right click and exit from Circle. Now choose here Dimension. Select this and this dimension going to be thirty two. Okay. This is also fully defined constraint because of green color. Say Close and here choose Pocket. Now press and hold Shift. middle mouse and left mouse right mouse sorry and drag choose here fit all now this time type dimension and depth or inside hold 8 mm normal distance we don't need to define anything okay see even though from here you will see this option isometric view okay now for proper visibility select this one view appearance and change the body color so i am going to change here shape color yellow okay so this looks more visible even though you can change line color also close now next let's make this counter bore hole 8 diameter throughout then 16 diameter is the counter bore diameter and depth of counter bore hole is 6 mm you will see this section view of this hole and center hole that's why you are able to see here now corner radius r5 this corner r3 and inside r3 okay now select this face create a sketch we have to define the position for hole so simply i am going to choose one hole circle activate circle draw one here right click and exit from circle now here let me define horizontal distance select this point and center point now this is going to be 60 divided by 2 30 mm now again going to change vertical constraint this point this point now this is going to be 62 divided by 2 because this is just half of this close now here activate hole now see just let me drag this little out so that we will get this proper idea now hole profile keep none because we don't want any thread threaded hole just move 
now here size keep none clearance keep standard now diameter here i am going to choose 8 mm see the whole diameter become big now depth of this hole through all because the center hole is through all come down here type choose counter bore now here i am going to choose counter bore diameter how much 16 and depth of the counter bore 6 look just press and hold left middle mouse and right mouse and rotate and see now we already did say ok isometric view now just reduce this ok let's make multiple number of patterns so before going to choose multiple number of pattern here choose option called create multi transform now which hole I want to transform so I am going to choose this last one hole this hole even though you can choose more than one but this is one is sufficient ok now here hole is selected now right click and here choose add linear pattern come down now here direction reference you have to choose axis horizontal selected here choose distance 60 reverse let me rotate this see horizontal this y line considered as a horizontal and this is created now right click and choose linear pattern linear pattern 2 this time I am going to choose vertical axis and here again I am going to choose 62 and here choose reverse direction now look the hole is going to add 62 millimeter from this line first we create one hole then later we create two hole say ok now all hole is created come down come up say close isometric view now select this corner fill it now this is going to be 5 millimeter ok now press left middle and left mouse and drag select inside hole make sure select edge inside edge fill it and this is going to be 3 millimeter ok now again I am going to press and left middle mouse and right mouse and drag and select this corner fillet add three millimeter we say ok look isometric view fit all look this is how we create a simple exercise simple exercise in FreeCAD software if you go to model and here you will see all the features are listed here if you click you will see you can directly click and modify it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS and other CAD software thanks for watching